Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and in this video I'm going to review the Spider Wireless Aviation Headset, model SW100A. Later in this video I will share the results of a flight test, but first let's take it out of the box and have a look. The box contains a headset bag, a leaflet with some guidance and technical details, and the set itself with an aux cable. This is an affordable aviation headset that is currently available on Amazon and retails at £129.99. There's a direct link to the headset on Amazon in the description area below this video. Also on Amazon you'll find my review and that of the pilot I flew with when we tested the headset together. As most aviators know, there are numerous aviation headsets available ranging from the Bose A20 which retails at about £1000 to much cheaper models at under £100. David Clark headsets are well known in both commercial and recreational aviation. The David Clark H10 13.4 retails at about £350, so over twice the price of this new Spider Wireless model. You may be loyal to your favourite brand but it's always worth comparing new models that enter the market and which provide a cheaper alternative. First impressions are good, with a solid build and head and ear cushioning that looks and feels comfortable. At £129.99, the Spider Wireless Aviation headset is competitively priced. It may not be the cheapest on the market, but it's certainly at the lower end of the price scale. If it proves to be comfortable, clear and durable, then it could prove to be a contender in the GA community. It would not only make an ideal first headset for student pilots or PPLs, but it's also an affordable extra set for one or more passengers. Now let's get airborne and see how it sounds and feels in the air. Aboard the aircraft we first tested the headset with me wearing it and the pilot wearing his own David Clark headset. Once the pilot had adjusted the radio to suit the headset, the sound was crisp and clear. First impressions were that this headset was easily as good as any other in its class. We took off from Solent Airport and flew south toward the Isle of Wight, then turning east and south again over Bembridge Airfield. Once settled into the flight, the pilot replaced his David Clark set with his Spider Wireless Spare. With us both using a Spider Wireless headset, there were no problems at all. We could hear each other clearly, as well as all the radio calls to and from the tower at Solent Airport. A few minutes later we made a gentle turn over Sandown Bay and headed north before turning west over the Solent. Eventually we turned to join base leg for runway 05 at Solent Airport. Throughout the flight we had no problems with the headset and I would have no hesitation in recommending it, particularly for those looking for an affordable spare for passengers. Use the link below to buy yours now and post any feedback or questions in the comments below.